Right now I'm at the base of Mount Sunapi. I'm gonna hike that mountain and then start the Monadnock Sunapi Greenway Trail, which is a 50 mile trail and I'll end at Mount Monadnock. So this is my second time doing it. Last time I did it northbound, this time I'm gonna do it southbound. So my pack, I have a liter of water and two and a half days of food in here. I'm just gonna weigh it before I start the hike. It's 14 pounds, so that's really good. <laughs> All right, it's Wednesday at 11.15 in the morning and I just started hiking. I am hiking to the summit of Mount Sunapee, which is 2.1 miles and that's where the Monadnock Sunapee Greenway Trail begins. So got a little bit of a climb. The beginning and the end of this hike is going to be the two major climbs of the whole thing. And then in between those two climbs, it's like rolling hills, little mountains, and some road walks. It's a hot summer day right now. So I was just at the summit of Mount Sunapee. There's a lot of workers up there getting ready because apparently they have a lot of weddings up there. Um, they said 19 more weddings just this year, which is crazy. But now I'm officially on the Monadnock Sunapee Greenway Trail and gonna start heading down the mountain now. So this trail is very nicely marked with white blazes and a lot of Monadnock Sunapee signs. And it's also on Gut Hook, which is my favorite part. So it's the app that I use to navigate the AT. I'm also using it to navigate this trail. It tells me where all the shelters are, where all the water sources are, and just where to go. So that's super helpful. All right, right here we have Lake Solitude. It is so peaceful in this spot. And just as, as I was standing here, it started raining a little bit. You can see some of the raindrops in the lake. Well, I only have 47 and a half miles to go. And now there's only 43.8 miles left. All right, little view right here. That is Lovewell Mountain, which I will climb pretty soon. All right, got my first water source of the trail, seven miles in. I'm definitely hot and I feel myself sweating a lot, so I'm gonna put some electrolytes in my water, but I'm doing pretty good seven miles in. I haven't done much hiking the last two months since coming off the AT, so I'm proud of myself for even just being out here. It's pretty cool. It just feels so relaxing. Like, I've been working so much these last, last few days. I go and open up my gift shop and I run that for like, 9, 10, 11 hours a day. Then I come home like at night and work on projects and work on YouTube videos and it's just been really stressful. So it's nice just being out in nature and just silence and being by myself. The first shelter of the day, 
I'm not gonna stay here though. It is 2.45, so I'm gonna go further. All right, it's exactly 10 miles into the day, so I thought I'd give a little update. I am feeling good, but I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna get a headache. Sometimes that happens when I push myself too much on a hike or it's too hot or I'm sweating too much. I get dehydrated really easily and I always burp a lot <laughs> before I get headaches and that's happening right now. So if anyone else experiences that, let me know. I mean, I drank like two liters of water already, so I try to stay as hydrated as I can. Also, I never really made a plan of where I was going to sleep each night. I just wanted to get out on trail and do the best I can. I don't often like making a plan because I always like to listen to my body. I don't want to stop if I still have more in me. Or I don't want to push myself too far just because that's where I planned on camping and I can't physically handle it. So I'm just doing what I think works. Um, right now I'm thinking there's a general store in Washington, New Hampshire that's open till 7. So I think I can make it there in time to get dinner. It, I might cut it a little close and then like a five minute walk past that is a shelter. And wow, I just stopped for one second and I'm getting attacked by mosquitoes. So yeah, my plan right now is to try to make it to the general store and get some food. This is a little bit of a better water source, so I'm gonna get some more water here. I have the hiccups, which is kind of like the burping earlier. I just, uh, I'm just tired. I haven't hiked in a while. I can't be doing the big days like I was doing on the AT. Um, yeah, this is kicking my butt and I've only done 11 miles so far. Whew. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. So it's like a quarter to five. I'm just not feeling well. I checked Gut Hook and there's a shelter 0.8 miles away. So I think I'm just going to end the day early and stay there then that way I can go to the general store tomorrow morning for breakfast. I'm just like, I feel like there's so many things wrong. Like I'm gassy, I have a headache, my legs feel weak. I'm just like feeling really blah and I just want to lay down. So that's what I'm going to do. So, I think I'm the only one here, which is really nice. I like this shelter a lot more than the shelter that I was originally going to go to. So maybe this is a good thing, ending a bit early. This one seems like new. I mean, I'm not going to sleep in it. I'm still going to try to find a nice spot to set up my tent. But I just have a lot better feelings here. And the fact that I'm out here by myself, I should just go with what I feel is safer, just like in my head. Um, the other shelter is really close to town and that always makes me nervous because I feel like non-hikers could take advantage of that. Um, people could like go out and have parties there or you never know what could happen but I feel like this is much more safe and I like that feeling. I was tracking my hike today on my Garmin watch. So 12.8 miles and 3,500 feet of elevation gain took me six hours. All right, so this is where I'm gonna set up my tent. Shelter's right there. Ugh. I think I'm just gonna lay down and close my eyes for a second before I worry about like cooking or finding the privy and the water source and all that. Oh my God. I should have packed Advil. I completely forgot about that. Feeling a little bit better. So now I'm going to do some of the chores. Right now I'm going to go filter some water. The water source was 0.2 miles away from the shelter and it was all downhill, but at least it's a nice one. This is like the only rock I found. 
Oh, nice. Thing is, there's good branches. There's just like a lot of dead, crappy branches like underneath the good ones, so it's hard to get to. I'm gonna keep trying. <laughs> I finally found a good spot to hang my food and I have my food here. I didn't hang it yet, but I just have no appetite. So I don't think I'm going to cook a dinner. I have like some bars and beef jerky and I might just open up my bag and see what I find appetizing. All right. I am ready for bed. It's like 8:20. I'm feeling a little better. I mean, some beef jerky helped, but I still don't have much of an appetite. I like smelled a couple of things in my food bag and it made me want to throw up. But now I'm just really tired and I think sleep will do the trick. So I'm gonna get a lot of sleep tonight and I have a good feeling about tomorrow. So I'll see you then. Good morning. Um, I did not sleep very well last night. It started raining at like four o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, the sleep was just so on and off all night. I don't think I got like more than one hour of sleep at a time. So yeah, I think I'm a little hungry right now. Like yesterday I had absolutely no appetite at all, but I think I can eat breakfast. So I just, I'm just putting on my rain gear right now. I'm gonna put on my socks and my shoes and go get my food bag out of the tree, which is kind of stuck. So I'll show you that. All right, so there's my food bag. I think what the problem is, is that the rope is going through that V right there. And it's not, it doesn't move very well. Like I think the rope is like wedged in and so it's hard to, I don't know, get the bag up and down. If this was any other bear hang, as soon as you take that stick off, the bag should just fall down. But you can see how stuck it is. And last night I noticed like the side to side movements, kind of like yanking the string, loosen it a little bit, but this is gonna be a while. I'll let you know when it's down. Actually sweating. I don't think I've ever seen a ladder at a shelter before, but it would have taken so much longer if I didn't have the ladder. So thank God. I was flipping through real quick and Carrie's my aunt. <laughs> I just noticed that. Hey Carrie. I am at Lovewell Mountain. 1.3 miles into the day. Raining a lot. <laughs> it wasn't raining this much when I woke up, but it should start raining more and more and more <laughs> throughout all day. All right, I'm doing my first road walk of this trail. I have two miles until I get to the town of Washington where I will go to the general store and get some real food because I think that's what my body needs. I feel like I'm lacking some nutrients and food. I just haven't had an appetite, but I am feeling a lot better than I was yesterday. I don't have a headache. I'm feeling good, like I can walk a lot. And so that's the plan. I am on Oak Hill right now, which is the climb out of the town of Washington. I had a really good time at the Washington General Store. It's super hiker friendly. I ordered an omelet and toast 
and I also got a Diet Coke, which always makes me feel better. And I also got this. Um, I threw my life water bottle away because it was really tall and skinny. Um, and it just kept falling out of the pocket on the side. So this was like shorter and fatter and it fits a lot better in the pocket. And I think it'll be good to have some body armor. It has some good things, electrolytes. And yeah, doing good. Um, yeah, this hill is fun. It's 10.4 miles into today and it is 1.15. So doing good, doing better than yesterday. I am just getting some more water before I start this climb up Jackson Hill. That's actually where I camped last time I did this trail, up on Jackson Hill. All right, I'm up here and I just saw this sign, which means I'm halfway done with this trail. Um, Sonopia was 24 miles ago, and I have 24 miles to go until I hit Mount Monadnock. It's been like one day and three hours, so doing pretty good. So this right here is Pitcher Mountain. Usually there's a really good view. There's a fire tower, so you can climb to the top and see everything. On a good day, you could see Monadnock, you can see Sonopia. It's pretty neat. This is my third time up here, so I don't really mind that there's no view. So I'm just gonna keep going. This is a cool spot. I was looking forward to reaching this spot, this point today. So I have gone 17 and a half miles so far today, which I'm proud of because I'm feeling good for the most part. And there's a shelter like two and a half miles from here. So I think that will be good. Maybe a solid 20 mile day. I definitely thought I was going to do this trail a lot quicker than that. Um, I thought it would be possible to do it just like as a one overnight. Um, but I knew that was going to be a big challenge, especially because I started later in the day yesterday. I mean, if I started like yesterday at like 6 a.m., and I never got a headache, it definitely would have been possible. But yeah, I'm gonna sleep out here for two nights um, and then finish up tomorrow. But yeah, just a couple miles until the shelter tonight and I'm excited to like get dry because it never stopped raining today. I just filled up on water here. I'm not 100% sure if the shelter I'm going to has water, so might as well drink a ton and then carry all the water I can just in case because I am going to cook dinner tonight. I didn't feel well enough to eat a full dinner last night so I have my I think a mountain house meal, backpacker's pantry, one of those um, and I'm really excited for it. I'm at the critter shelter. First thing I did when I got here, took my backpack off, found my cookies. These cookies are so good. And just the smell of them last night made me want to throw up. So I'm happy I have the appetite for them. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna sit here for a second, have a snack and then set up my tent. Just set up my tent right over there. It's a good, nice flat spot. I was just reading the log book because my aunt hiked this trail a couple months ago and I wanted to try to find more of her entries. Um, and there's an entry from yesterday from Kathy saying that she saw a bear here. So I'm a little worried about that. There's also an entry saying that someone saw Bigfoot. So I don't know. I'm just gonna chill in the shelter for a second, maybe cook dinner. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna be really careful about my food and, the, and stuff though, cause the bear makes me nervous. There's no cell service here, 
so I can't like spend all night watching YouTube and <laughs> scrolling through social media like I did. Um, we'll see. It's like, I don't know, six o'clock, so I have some time before bed. This is the Critter Crapper. Just found the absolute best place to hang my food bag through the rock up. It was perfect. It's like textbook style. Like the perfect branch, the perfect distance away from the tree, the perfect height. Like I feel really good about that. This is my first time using this stove. So we should see how it goes. scarier than my jet foil. All my stuff. It um, took a while for me to eat that backpacking meal. I'm just not hungry on this trip. But I'm gonna move all my stuff to inside my tent and then hang out there for the rest of the night. Everything is so wet. It's my buff. The shirt I wore yesterday that I sweat in is still wet from sweat. Like this stayed in my dry bag all day today and it's still soaked in sweat. The shorts I had underneath my rain shorts are soaked. My bra, my socks, and my sock liners. And then that's all my rain stuff. And that's all my other stuff. <laughs> yeah. I'm wearing this tank top that I wore yesterday that is damp but kind of dried. And I'm wearing these shorts that are dry, but as soon as I put them on, like my whole body's still wet. So yeah, this is hopeless. At least it's not cold. So I'm happy about that. Um, I have a bunch of YouTube videos downloaded on my phone. So even though I have no service, I still have like an hour and a half worth of content that I can watch. So I'm just gonna chill. That's why I'm out here. I just wanna chill and have like me time. So yeah. Good night if I don't talk to you. Um, today was 20.1 miles and I'm really happy about that. Tomorrow's gonna be a big day. I'm gonna try to wake up early because I would love to make it to work tomorrow at five o'clock and I probably have 20 miles to hike. So I wanna try to do that a lot in the morning so that way I can go to work. And I'm probably gonna have to stop at my house to get dry clothes before I go to work. Um, so yeah, that's the plan and I'll see you tomorrow. I don't know how all these guys got in here last night. I am just about all packed up. Just gotta get like my tent down and the food bag in my backpack. But oh my god, it's so buggy. But the biggest problem right now is that my phone is detecting moisture in the USB port and I can't charge it. And my phone's at 40%, and I'm using my phone for navigation, um, to vlog, to take all these videos. And I also need my phone to get home. Like, I, once I end up at Monadnock and I get back to my car, I don't know how to get back to my house. Like, it's all back roads. I've, I'm rarely in this part of the state. So, yeah, I'm gonna try to save as much of my phone battery as I can. So, I'll vlog the important things. But yeah, it's a hectic morning. It's like 6.45 and I'm just about ready to start the day. I'm just like ready to get out of here. I just walked through the little village of Nelson, just a library and a church. Um, now I'm doing some road walking. It is 8.45 and so far I've hiked five and a half miles. Feeling pretty good. My socks and shoes are definitely soaking wet because, well, my shoes were wet from yesterday. I had dry socks, but I'm walking through like a lot of wet grass and that always gets your shoes wet really fast and I'm hiking in the clothes I slept in because it was the only dry things I've had in my backpack so this tank top and just like little spandex shorts um, yeah I feel like my backpack is actually heavier than it was when I started just because every single article of clothing I have is dripping wet so that adds a lot of weight <laughs> Hello. I just saw a bear.
Are there any more of you out there? Hello? 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 Can I get by? Are you gone? I have to go that way. <sighs> there. Can I come by? Hello. I'm walking in the direction that you ran. Hello. Are you gone? <sighs> so how is it that I just hiked 2,200 miles on the Appalachian Trail without seeing a bear? And then I'm like 40 miles into a local trail and I see a bear <laughs> and I'm by myself. Whew. It was fine, like the bear ran away before I even noticed it was there and never saw him again, so. It went well, I wasn't that scared, <laughs> but it was interesting. So I'm at mile 12 for the day and it's 11 o'clock. And that's something that I tried to do a lot on my through hike. It's called 12 before 12. And so yeah, 12 miles before 12 o'clock and feeling good. It is incredibly buggy. I have bug bites everywhere, all over my arms, all over my legs. I've, it, I've never seen it this bad before. All right, so it just started raining again, but it feels nice. I'm just like slapping mosquitoes off of me constantly right now. But about two miles, I start my climb up Mount Monadnock. And that mountain is one of the most climbed mountains like in the country. So I'm expecting to see a lot of people, even if it's raining. <laughs> um, so I thought I'd just give some of my final thoughts on this trip right now. It has been challenging. I feel like there's been a lot of things thrown at me on this trip. Like I felt sick the first day, my food bag got stuck. Um, it downpoured, everything got soaked, the bugs, the, there's a lot of things like chafing, sweating, um, I don't know, camping alone. Like I've never had to camp that like isolated from people before. I only saw two other through hikers and that was like the first day. Like it's been weird. I haven't gotten that much sleep. I haven't had that much appetite. I'm walking through spider webs all day. So that's a lot of things that have been thrown at me. But I feel like I've remained positive. Like I'm not having a bad time. I'm just like really proud of myself for how tough I'm being and like that I can do this. <laughs> so, oh my God, my arm's getting tired. <laughs> all right, see you soon. I just want this to be over. There's like 0.7 until the car. I'm just trying to go as fast as I can. <sighs> this is so rough. <sighs> I made it. I made it to my car. There's a camp store, got a soda got a Gatorade. It's like three o'clock right now. If I go home right now, I might be able to make it to work by five. Oh my God, that was crazy. I, that Monadnock was absolutely the worst part of the whole thing. So I'm editing this video right now and I just kind of didn't get any more footage after that. I just kind of ended it really abruptly. So I'm just gonna go over it real quick. That last part, hiking up and down Mount Monadnock was so tough for me, mostly because I was just like fatigued and 
the chafing was really bad. So because of the chafing, I was in a really bad mood, didn't film much, but it was an exciting couple days on the Monadnox and Pea Greenway Trail. I went on that trail to push myself and I did that. Um, I accomplished something that I wanted to do, I endured a lot, and I'm just proud of myself. So I'm really happy with that hike, all 52 miles of it, and that's definitely a hike I want to do once a year and see if I can improve my speed every year. I'm very competitive in that part of my life. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I have a couple more backpacking trips planned and I'm excited to film those and put those on YouTube as well. So please subscribe, please like the video if you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.